Hello cookbook friends! Today let's look through Plant-Based Gourmet. It is a vegan cuisine for the Home Chef book. Now I'm vegetarian so I eat a lot of vegan-ish things but when I'm eating vegetarian chili I have sour cream on top and I eat real cheese not vegan cheese but I wanted to look through this cookbook by chef Susie Gerber with you in case some of you are vegan or thinking of becoming vegan. I normally look through the cookbook with you for the first time so there's surprises but I looked through this earlier when I screwed up making a video and didn't have the sound on. So I've already previewed this cookbook and I'm a little surprised it's not ex exactly just a cookbook I'm surprised how much more info is in this cookbook. There's pages and pages and pages about preparing your pantry, how to make or blend your own spices, herbs and other flavorings, uh, info on flowers and sweeteners like most vegan cookbooks have and seeds and nuts and oils and egg replacers, very important info. There's a huge section on prepping, more than 10 pages on chopping veggies, infused vinegars and oils, marinades, soaking nuts, sprouts, sauces and condiments, dehydration, slow cooks, long bakes and roasts. And then it gets into equipment including knife and cutting skills and goes on and on about things to keep in mind when cutting, styling tips, chef's plating. This is very educational but I would think that people that are as interested in cookbooks as we are don't need to read about knife skills. But vegans chopping up a bunch of vegetables do interact with a lot more vegetables than say meat eaters. So getting into the table of contents from the saucier, elements, breads and bakes, brunch and breakfast, small plates, soups, mains, desserts, and then ending with cocktails. So takes a while to get to the first recipe. And then you're in the sauces chapter and fermenting and pickling. Don't really need a bunch of pictures of sauces and pickles. I'm a little disappointed not to be offensive, but the photography in this book looks like something out of the 1980s or 1990s. It's very old fashioned, kind of boring. You know, it's hard to, it's hard to photograph equipment, kind of boring. But when you finally see a picture, oh, and there's nice quotes from other chefs inside the book. And the picture is okay, but nothing to write home about and very kind of dark and just 1990s. I'm not impressed. And I'm a very visual cookbook person, so from the saucier, you can learn how to make Worcestershire sauce. Did I say that right? Soyless sauce, sun sauce, red wine sauce, homemade butter, preserves and harvest, harvest jam, vegan sour cream, cashew dill cream, classic pesto, uh, etc. So not a lot of pictures. Info, info. So we're going to skip ahead to the next section, which luckily has this little, oh, here's a picture of pho broth. Luckily, there's a little green separator so I know where the next chapter is. And this is elements where you learn to make fake chicken, fake beef, mushroom asada, jackfruit chorizo, pickled cucumbers, pickled tomatoes, guacamole, salsa fresca. Uh, you learn to make vegan cheeses such as fake feta, ricotta, cauliflower ricotta, squash cheese. I didn't know you could make squash cheese. Rice cheeses. I didn't know you could make rice cheese and herb cashew cheese etc. So not a lot of pictures. Now we're in the breads and bakes. Tortilla wraps, tortilla taco bowls, tortilla chips, blue cornbread. I love blue cornbread. Sweet and savory scones, paratha, hala, short crust, coconut tart crust, and seed crackers. So you get there's the, <laughs> there's the blue cornbread. That's super fun, I have to admit. That's a good picture. Uh, here's the hala. We all know what hala looks like. There's the tarts and the nut bread. Brunch and breakfast. You can learn to make vegan madras breakfast taco, French toast and French toast sticks, savory crepelet, purple sweet potato pancakes. Let's see if there's a picture of that. Hikama hash, shakshuka. I love shakshuka. It's spicy tomato sauce, but with eggs. Not sure what they use instead of eggs here. There's the shakshuka. They use rice instead of eggs. Hmm, okay. And here's a beautiful quiche or frittata made again with rice, brown rice. And I'd love to see the purple pancakes, but there's no picture of them. Now we're into a small plate section where we learn to make vegan ceviche. Uh, something, let's see, escargot amuse bouche. What are they using to make escargots? I'm guessing mushrooms. Sweet potato confit. 
papaya salad, green quinoa salad. Um, can I see a picture of the... Nope, I'm disappointed. Not a lot of pictures. This is pretty. Don't know what it is. Okay, uh, next section, soups. There's a pho, a watermelon gazpacho, sunchoke celery root soup, cucumber soup, French sorrel soup, mango guisado, and potato and leek sous vide soup. Let's see if I can find it. Here's the watermelon gazpacho, and here's a picture of the sunchoke celery root soup. Soup is hard to photograph. Mains, now we're getting into the meat of the cookbook. Get it? <clears throat> Sunday roast, tamaki and sushi party. I eat a lot of vegan vegetarian sushi. It's rice with cucumbers, avocados, tofu, and pickled things and mushrooms. You can make flame grilled stuffed poblano peppers, paella, charcuterie with vegan items, piccata, a steak, polenta something, polenta, polenta. Okay, let me find a good picture to show you. How about, how about, oh, that's pretty. And there's one that was pretty awesome. No, that's kind of an old fashioned picture of salad. Eh. Um, no offense to the photographer. Here is paella, but not made with seafood. And there was a really pretty picture last time I looked through and I can't find it. Cute lasagna skyscrapers. That's adorable. <laughs> Polenta. Here's the one I wanted to show. Nope. Ah, here's a mushroom something squid ink two ways. Two ways to make fake squid ink. That's clever. Now we're in the desserts chapter, and this looks like a picture out of a 1960s cookbook because it's so dark and weird. Okay. Uh, it starts off with a recipe, recipe for cashew sweet cream and coconut whipped cream. Not a lot of pictures. Here's a plum trio galette. Oh. Okay. I like making galettes. They're very forgiving. Here's a pretty vibrant picture of a triple layer cheesecake, and I think I see some dragon fruit, which is very expensive. And let's get to the, oh, here's some beautiful fruit tarts. See, I can say something nice. Let's get to the cocktails. Those are very important. Cocktails and other beverages, such as the Alchemist, Paris at Sunset, Bloody Mary, Buttered Brandy, Irish Cold Brew, and from the kitchen, Cold Brew, Oat Milk, Drinking Chocolate, Apple Cider, Mold Cider, etc. Here's a Tropicana Freeze. Looks good. Okay, so overall, very educational, plant-based gourmet. Not a fan of the pictures, not a fan of the lack of pictures. I wouldn't personally buy this, but you are going to learn a lot from it. But if I need to learn knife skills, I'm not going to turn to my vegan cookbook to do it. So uh, I hate to give negative reviews. It's not negative, but I would probably pass this over personally. But you've gotten to take a look through it. If it's something's appealing, feel free to buy it using our affiliate links or check it out from your local library. And thanks for watching Cookbook Divas. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, and our podcast. Bye!